Hey guys, welcome to episode 6, Return of the Chris Finley. Or something like that. Sounded a lot better in my head. Right, so, sit rep. Last time, we tried to get some chickens over here. Didn't work. Ended up with one. Life didn't hand me chickens. So, putting those away for now. <clears throat> Don't really need those flowers or seeds. Or those, or those, or those, or those. I'm going to take the gravel out actually, I'm going to make some, I'm going to do a little bit of path work. should make some, uh, oh, of course that's happened. should try and make this place look a little nicer. If I want to do that, I'm indecisive. That works. Okay. I'm going to try and at least make this place look a little more presentable. Like I'm actually proud of living here. Yada 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 yada. Ah. Oh. I always seem to log into this when the sun's going down. So yay, you'll get another shot of me sleeping. Hi chicken. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's get this night over with. Alright. Well, last time we were down in the mines, we found a couple of areas that were seemed to be worth exploring. Possibly, maybe. Don't know what I'm doing. Someone tell me. It is like 5 to 10 at night and I'm playing this and trying to make a coherent recording and it's not really working. Fill this back in for now. Oh. Yay, more carrots. Good thing about carrots is so many of them pop up when you... Uh, ah, I didn't get my hoe back. Um, so many carrots pop up when you pick them so you can really make a self-sufficient farm. It's hoe bag time. I've got a hoe in here somewhere. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start planting some other crops as well. I need to get some spuds in here. I think I baked all the potatoes that I picked up. That I only picked up baked potatoes. One of the two. Yeah, they're all baked potatoes. Okay, so I've got plenty of food, plenty of water, water, plenty of torches. I should probably get myself some more sticks. I should have plenty for tools. So I'm not aiming on spending all day down there. Okay. I got a spare sword. I got two spare swords. In fact, can I do this? Yeah, I can. That'll do. No point using an a anvil. I a anvil, an anvil, as they're uh, not enchanted. Cast some light from there. And continue on. That's gonna get covered. Okay. Good news is, can't hear a thing. So yeah, this is where I wanted to go. I 
hear zombies and I hear skeletons, but I can't see either of them. So, you know. Good start. Okay. First thing to do. Make safe. Zombie! With a sword! That's not as good as my sword. Didn't even have the decency to drop it. Suppose that's the old... Ooh, hello! Hi, love it! That's the old MMO way of doing things. Random drops. You know, like, not every animal you kill drops its head. So even though you're blatantly carrying a sword, ow, skelly, and other zombie. Oh, hello. Coming in droves, coming in droves. Where'd you guys come from? Jeez. Okay, these guys are getting in from somewhere. Honestly, I have no idea where they came from. Out of nowhere. Nothing wrong with a bit of combat, but jeez. Guys, come on. Oh, they're coming from behind. In that tunnel I made. So... Where are they spawning? Of course, without F3, I can't tell the light level of various areas. And I'm going to assume they're not coming from very far. Because I doubt they'd path halfway down this dungeon just to find me. That would just be silly, surely. Hey, there's one guy. Are they just coming from this corner? wonder if that takes care of them. I want to keep looking around. One of the great mysteries of our time. No, there's a... Oh my god. It's a two-fronted assault! Oh my god. Is this maybe part of the new mob mentality for them? Okay, this is getting seriously beyond a joke now. Where are they spawning from? Oh wow! Hey! Hey zombie kid! God he's quick! It's the first time I've seen one of those guys. Anton uh, was telling me about an encounter he had with one. Getting a little annoyed. But, on the plus side, I did hear a slime. Sure I did anyway. I don't hear him anymore. Damn it. Maybe 
Maybe it's just a zombie shuffling. Well, we seem to be devoid of the buggers now. No, we're not. Tell a lie. Spoke way too soon. You know, I am pretty close to just abandoning this cave. If I just draw like every single zombie in the cave towards me and there's none left now, there's one over there. Jesus. Jeezy Pete will tell you what. If I can deal with that, eh? Yeah, let's see you get to me now. It's a lot of zombies. None from that side. All from this side. Yeah, let's just keep them at bay for now. Get a lot more cool. Bat, you're really beginning to annoy me. Okay. Okay, this is a problem because now... No, 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 I'm not dying here. I am not dying here. I'm dying here. <sighs> okay, that is the closest to death I have ever been in this mood so far. Okay. And breathe. It was almost all over. Oh man. Yeah. Now I think it's a good time to abandon this mine shaft. There must be a zombie spawner nearby down there. And I'm just unable to locate it without getting absolutely beaten. Okay, nothing's really spawned around here. That's good. The area's safe. Okay, so there must be a zombie spawner somewhere down there, which means plenty of good loot. But I just can't seem to get to it without really running the risk of just being another another casualty. It's the only reason I can think of why there's so many zombies. I don't know why they all came from where I came from. But the ones from behind me... Well, sorry, the ones from the new area... I've gone the wrong way completely, I think. Not completely. Just the long way around. Okay. So I know I said I was going to abandon this mine shaft, but not just yet. That'll do. Just trying to play bloody.
There's gold. And a skelly. Bit of a useless skelly. Two skellies, okay. Go on the offensive. Go on the offensive. Three skellies. Uh, I don't wanna I don't like it up there anymore. Come on, come on. Hana creeper, yay. Don't you blow up my gold, don't you blow up my gold, don't you blow up my gold! I will not let them blow up my gold. I finally get something really nice. And a creeper comes into view. Okay. I'm having to eat a lot. So much stuff around here. Hi, Skelly. How do you shoot behind you? You like that? Trick shot. Could be something really nice in there. Or there could be nothing nice. This old caving idea. I don't like it. <laughs> Once I'm done with this playthrough, I'm going back to my usual cowardly way of mining everything. Okay, deal? Deal. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Wish I had F3. Wish I hadn't put on that silly rule. Wish I knew where I was going. Could have sworn I heard an arrow take flight. A lot of gravel, a lot of chances for flint. Flint for arrows. Dirt could signify water nearby. Okay. Just dig around in case it's a diagonal vein. It's not, it was just one measly block.
a lot of coal. Do I, do I need to pick up all this coal? Probably not, but I will. And because sometimes it leads to iron. <laughs> hey, that's a nice cave noise. Yeah, I love those cave noises. Never get tired of those. He said without a single hint of sarcasm whatsoever. There's definitely a skeleton in the vicinity. Thankfully, I don't think he's coming for me. A few pickaxes left, so that's good. I really hope to get more gold or I get some other resources. Be nice to get some redstone or lapis or something. Oh my god, this is a huge iron vein. Let's just keep going. A bit like this pickaxe. This pickaxe just won't stop. Truly, yours is. Never mind. Really, yours is a pick that won't quit until right there. Until you're most likely to make a fool of yourself. I think after I've explored here for a bit, I might just stay up for a little, quite a while and just get some building done. You know, some farming and some building. Some generally, some generally pleasurable Minecraft activities. Not this seconds away from death bollocks that I'm constantly going through. Would I say I'm enjoying it? Yeah, I would actually. It's interesting. Oh man. Time is getting on. It's coming up on quarter past. I think this is going to be the end. I think 20 past for the end of episode 6. I think so, anyway. I've got to start looking after my timing better. Try and give you guys some consistent episodes. Got to be a better way to mine dig down, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm getting pretty low. There's, uh... Bedrock. So, if that's... Zero, one, two, three... Four. I want to go up a bit. Five... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to assume this is around the eleven area. This is prime um, diamond area. I want to get diamond so I can make a diamond pickaxe and then I can start gathering obsidian. Get obsidian, I can make an enchanting table. Might make my life a little easier. Just a smidge. I hear lava. Definitely lava in one of these directions. I think it's dead ahead. Lava's always a good sign. Spiders, I hear everything. Oh yeah, um, lava is usually a good sign because diamond tends to appear in areas of lava because the developers are sadistic like that. I 
think the little pool of lava is actually above me. So I'm going to pull back a little bit. Oh. There's the lava. I think it's a particularly fruitful area of lava, but I can dig out some of the surrounding blocks. That is a bad, bad thing there. <laughs> okay. Dig out some of the surrounding blocks. Bigger pool of lava in there. Man, I'm burning through this iron pickaxe. Okay, you know what? In this little ten spot, great place to sign off for episode six. I'll see you back for episode seven. <laughs>